everyone and welcome back to the Sussex Handmade Soap Company. I'm Anne and I'm one of two makers here at the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and today we are going to be creating the second in our series of January soap releases. So the soap we're making today is going to be available to purchase on our website from the 1st of January 2021. Um, and today we are making an oatmeal, milk and honey soap. Uh, it's a really nice soap, we've actually already created it, we are filming the intro after the big making event has already taken place, so I can say with confidence it is a really nice soap. We are using a safe but synthetic fragrance oil to scent it, we're using an oatmeal, milk and honey scent, but it doesn't to me smell synthetic, it's just got a really nice subtle fragrance to it and I think it's just a really pretty, really nice, say really subtle scent. Um, that to me doesn't smell synthetic at all. Um, if you do want to try and recreate this soap but you don't want to use fragrance oils, I would say that this is actually a really nice soap for just leaving unscented. Um, it'll then be just really good. It's got the goat's milk in it which is going to help with sensitive skin and things like that so it's going to be a really nice mild soap so you could leave it unscented. Or if you did want to put a little bit of scent in there I would perhaps substitute the fragrance oil for something like a Litsia essential oil or something like that. The actual design design today is really simple. It is just going to be a little bit of a swirl that we're using some annatto to colour a portion of the batter and create a little bit of a swirl. But other than that, it's not really got any other added colourants, so it's a really easy soap. We are topping it with some pretty little soap flowers and a few little oats. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, easy, fun soap for today. So let's get making it. So I'm going to start by showing you us preparing our lye solution and for this soap we are using 218 grams of lye and we need 480 grams of liquid and I've used half of that liquid in the form of water so 240 grams of water which I have already mixed with the lye in here and it is now nice and cool it's down to about 85 degrees. And for the other 50% of liquid I thought it would be nice because we're creating oatmeal milk and honey soap to actually incorporate some goat's milk for the second portion of the liquid. Goat's milk or any milk that you're using you need to add it nice and cool because otherwise the lye solution can overheat and the milk can actually scorch. So I have frozen the goat's milk first and we've brought the lye so right down to about 85 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to carefully now add in the goat's milk a small amount at a time and just mix it in and it will just naturally kind of melt away into the water and I'm going to keep checking it with the temperature gun to check it's not getting too hot because the sugar in the goat's milk can actually cause this to heat up again. I'm going to keep it below 100 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit which is hopefully going to stop the milk from scorching. So I've got all of that frozen goat's milk in now and the last little pieces are just sort of melting away now. So we're going to just pop this to one side and we're going to bring in our melted oils. So here we've got our melted solid oils mixed in with our liquid oils and we've also got 12 grams of honey in here too, which is about two teaspoons. And we have just incorporated that all together. And now we're going to bring back in our lye solution, so our lye with our goat's milk and water. And we're just going to carefully pour it into here. And as well as the goat's milk potentially heating up the soap, the sugar in the honey can also do the same thing. And that is why we are working at really low temperatures today. I say we're around about 85 degrees, which for us is very low. We normally work up at around about 105, 115 degrees. So this is very low for us. But we're just going to bring this now to a light to medium trace using the stick blender. So we've got this at a nice kind of light medium trace now. It took a little longer than usual to come to a trace because we are working at lower temperatures. The higher the temperature, the more quickly you're likely to come to trace. And now we are going to add in some smell. And today we are using oatmeal, milk and honey fragrance oil from Sensory Perfection here in the UK. And this is a really gorgeous smell. It is, as, as always with our fragrance oils, it is paraben and phthalate free 
and it is a very nice smell. It doesn't smell synthetic, it has just got a really nice subtle smell to it, almost kind of like, I want to say baby powder or the kind of product that you'd use maybe in a baby bath or something like that. It's got, to me, that kind of scent to it. <laughs> I'm just going to mix it in nice and well with the spatula. And now we're going to split off and colour 25% of this batter. And today we're going to be colouring using annatto. This is just annatto that has been mixed with some water to make it nice and liquid. And I'm using a pipette because I only need a small amount to colour this. I'm going to use about 30 drops. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-nine, thirty. There we go, 30 drops of annatto. And we're just going to use a spatula to mix this in and it should hopefully go a nice pale orangey yellow colour. We're not looking for a massive colour change today, we just want it to kind of blend in with the natural creamy portion of the batter. So we're not looking for a massively bright colour, just something a little bit subtly different to the cream of the remaining batter. And that looks pretty perfect to me. So now we're going to bring in the rest of the batter and swirl this coloured portion into it. So now all we're going to do is swirl the coloured portion down into the uncoloured portion. And now that, that is all in there we're going to get it into our mould. And I'm not even bothering to actually stir that in any more than it has already swirled itself. I'm just going to hold it up fairly high so it kind of swirls more as it falls into the mould. And then just carefully pour it all along the length of the mould. Filling it up, hopefully, to the top. Now that it's all in the mould, we're just going to let it set up for a few minutes and we're going to come back and texture the top and make it look very, very pretty and appealing. So now for the top of today's soap, we are simply going to bring it to a peak in the centre. Just pulling it in like this. And it's been setting up for, I suppose, about 10 minutes to get it to this consistency. Just pulling into a really nice peak. And I do do this design all the time just because I actually really love it. I've said in so many videos it's one of my favourite texturing techniques and it really, really is. There we are. All sorted. And now for the next little bit of decoration we have got five grams of oats here and we're just going to sprinkle them down one side of the soap. And I just think this is a really nice addition to this soap, just kind of helps with that kind of, well, <laughs> oatmeal, milk and honey scent. It brings it all together because we haven't got any oatmeal running through the actual soap. We have got the honey and the milk in the actual soap so we need to top it with the oats just to incorporate them. And these are just regular oats that like you know kind of like the ones you would use in your porridge. If we were using it inside the soap I might use some of the uh, special I don't know how it's pronounced is it colloidal oatmeal that you can buy which is far ground up a lot finer but as these are just going on top, I'm just going to use regular old porridge oats. Well, not old, <laughs> regular new porridge oats. And finally, we are going to add some little flowers to the top. And I worked so hard sculpting each of these flowers, making them perfect. I'm, of course, lying. I actually used a silicon mould. It was really easy just to pour. Anytime I had a little bit of leftover batter, Pour into these moulds, 
pop them out a couple of days later and you get a lovely flower selection. So we're going to use these on top of the soap today. And because some of them are quite wide, I've marked the soap with where it's going to be cut because I really want to avoid cutting any of the flowers in half if possible. So I've tried to mark it and I'm now going to place each flower in the centre of the bar and also within the lines that I've marked so hopefully nothing's going to end up getting chopped or cut when we slice this bar up tomorrow. That's the plan anyway. Last time I tried to do something like this and make sure nothing would get cut, I just sort of went wrong halfway and loads of it did end up getting cut. But I'm going to take more care today. And already I can smell that beautiful oatmeal, milk and honey scent coming up through the soap. It really is just an absolutely gorgeous scent. I say it doesn't to me smell synthetic at all because there are some synthetic fragrances and they really do, they just smell synthetic, don't they? Whereas this one to me doesn't. I'm not a lover of massively strong fragrances myself. I prefer ones that are a little bit more subtle and this is definitely more subtle. And it does have a distinct note to me of like baby powder, which is a smell that I love. So I think I've managed to place all of those flowers so that none of them are going to end up getting chopped tomorrow. And this is our finished soap loaf. Oatmeal, milk and honey, coloured with annatto and topped with oats and soap flowers. We'll come back tomorrow and we will chop this one up. So 24 hours later and we have a bar that has been unmoulded and is ready to cut. Because of the oats on the top, I'm going to turn it on its side for cutting and I'm going to try and line it up so that none of these flowers end up getting chopped, which is easier said than done. Right, so I've lined it up as best as I can. Um, it looks like some of my placing might have been slightly off. It looks like we may lose the odd edge of a leaf, which would be a shame, but I clearly need to learn how to place things more precisely. Whoops! <laughs> there we go. It's cut. And let's take this one here from the centre out and have a look at how it's turned out. There we are. The completed oatmeal, milk and honey soap bar. And you can see the subtle colour difference between the portion we coloured with a natto and the portion that we left plain. We've got kind of just a very natural slight swirl there. We've got the flour and the oats on the top. This particular bar just about escaped unscathed. I mean the very edge of the leaf of the petal rather here has perhaps been slightly chopped, but it's pretty much survived the cutter. So those are today's soaps. I'm really liking the smell coming off them. I'm really liking the little design on top and I'm liking the swirl. Just slightly annoyed that my placing skills aren't quite up to scratch and we've got a very slight choppage on the side of the flower there. So here we go. Oatmeal, milk and honey soap topped with little soap flowers and some oats. I'm very happy with how these turned out. They smell beautiful, such a nice subtle fragrance and I would say really good for people that don't like strong overpowering fragrances because this is, a, to me, a very, very subtle scent. I've really enjoyed making today's soap and I hope you've enjoyed watching it too. Remember, these soaps are going to be available for purchase on our website from the 1st of January 2021. We have limited quantities. This is a limited edition release. So if you want one, you can head over to our website here from January the 1st. And you can also use our discount code to grab a few pence off, which is never a bad thing, is it? If you do enjoy our videos, we always appreciate those likes and subscribes. If you don't like it, just give us a dislike. That's cool too. Um, yeah, hit the notification bell, all of that jazz. Um, and enjoy the rest of the week and the run up to Christmas. Have you got your Christmas shopping done yet? I haven't. I still need to do some. But 
that's going to be for next week. Anyway, have a good weekend, whatever you're doing, and we shall see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.